Today, I'm going to show you how to embed videos in your PowerPoint presentations and Google slide decks. This very easy yet elusive trick is a great way to add some depth to your presentations and show real world examples from YouTube and Vimeo. If you're trying to figure out how to do this, you found the right video. Let's get right into it. Improper linking of videos can make your pitch clunky and really hard to understand and it kind of pops people out of your presentation if you have to click around and try and open a new tab and that type of thing. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to embed these videos directly into your presentation so you don't have to leave the browser. I'm also gonna show you some of the pitfalls of doing this and other ways you can make sure that this is a very seamless process, whether you're using Google Slides, which is a free tool, or Microsoft Office. I think you're gonna like this video. So without any further ado, let's roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> Using this method for PowerPoint and Google Slides is going to make your life a whole lot easier and make all of your wildest dreams come true. Okay, maybe not that last part, but we're gonna make sure that we can solve this problem for you right now. Let's get into the video. It's a secret. Why am I whispering? I don't know. Okay, so here's a pitch deck that I put together in Google Slides here a couple weeks ago for a conference that I did for video marketing secrets and teaching people how to use YouTube to rank videos. Um, this is a really big hit for people and especially with a lot of this stuff, people wanna understand more about exactly what it looks like. And since my topic and my subject matter is about video, sometimes showing that is very important. So this video is what I was talking about. So it made sense to have it in here so I could show it. Another great tip that I want you guys to know is to have the videos in here as thumbnails. So if for some reason you don't have internet access, wherever you decide to go present, you will have the ability to um, just show this as a slide and then go on. So you can just tab to the next slide and people wouldn't even know that that was just a still. So all you have to do in here to get this video going is go to insert video, and then all you have to do is copy and link a YouTube video or a URL of a video on Vimeo or another hosting site like that. Another option to put it in is also through Google Drive. If you have the video saved to your actual drive, you can click that, select, and it'll just drop it in directly here in the video. And you can drag it around, and boom, it's ready to go. So. For this one, all I did was just do the right click, insert video, and there we have it. Just drag it where you want it, boom, you're there to go. Now something I will say is if you're trying to do this and you don't know if you're gonna have Wi-Fi in your presentation, that's when I would look at doing something offline, so just doing a video that is directly on your machine or on your computer. So if you don't have Wi-Fi, you can still use it. It's the exact same principle. All you're gonna do is just use it from Google Drive or use it from my folder. Again, these are just two extra ways you can have some extra security and extra benefit to doing it on slides so you can access it from the internet or from your machine. So then when you're in your presentation deck, all you have to do is just use your pointer, hover over this button and then click it and it'll start playing directly in your video. So this is a great option. You can mute this if you want it to just play while you're talking. All you have to do is just run the video here. You can talk about this case study and the accidental organic reach. While this is playing, just add an extra element of interest to your video. Again, guys, this is super helpful. I really hope that this helps you guys out because I didn't know how to do this in the first place and it took me a while to figure out how to do it. It's a very simple fix, but if you didn't know how to do it, now you know. Another kind of backup plan is before your video, if that's kind of the main event of your presentation, make sure that you have a placeholder slide beforehand that has a bunch of screen grabs from the video and a title. So then if for some reason your video does not want to play, you can still go back to that title slide and just talk more about what the video is about. And you can kind of use that as a talking point so you can kind of seamlessly go through your process even if the video doesn't wanna load or for some reason isn't working the way that you want it to. Another tip that I'm gonna leave you guys with is that you wanna have a max of one video in your presentation. I've sat through a lot of presentations where people just read directly from the screen and they're not actually engaging with their audience or their presentation is kind of really weak. Do not use video as a crutch, use it as something that's going to help you and propel your video forward and make sure that your presentation is top notch. Now, if you're making a presentation video right now with Google Slides or PowerPoint, make sure to go download my free presentation checklist that I'm gonna put in the description box below this video. It is a free way that you can get some great tips on how to present with confidence, know your structure of how you're gonna go about your video, how you want people to go through this whole process and learn and understand what you're presenting, and also to sell, convert, convince, or inspire your audience to take action at the end of it. This blueprint's been something that's helped me get speaking engagements that have paid very well, as well as a way to access my ideal customers in person and continue to present and inspire and educate them. If this was helpful, make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Let's see if we can break 50 likes on this video. 
drop your comment in the comment section below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe for more videos. I share weekly videos to help you grow your brand with video, marketing, and social media. My name's Ryan Snod. It rhymes with odd. I wonder why. And I'm going to see you guys in next week's video. Peace.